Welcome back to part two of the navigation app. In part one, we did the UI or the user interface or the layout. And in this part, we're going to do the user authorization for the location. And we're going to get the user's location. So sit back and enjoy. We should probably add in the 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 blue circle of user location blah 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 well the reason why that is not working is because it's it hasn't gone it hasn't gone permission from the user to use the location so if you're an ios if you have an ios phone or an apple phone an iphone um you should see that there will be a pop-up asking if you let the app use user location or a game center or any other thing which I can't remember off my mind. Um, so what we do here is we create a constant, I think, for V the location manager and that location manager will manage the location that's why it's called a location manager just like a building manager it manages something all right so so i'm gonna name this location manager and we will make this a cl location manager there we go yay um okay so <laughs> i so first we should have probably done this with a map view and the location manager but uh we should set the map view so delegate to itself and the location manager delegate to itself now you should probably see a problem here and that is because you will need this view controller to conform to um the mk map view delegate and the cl location manager delegate um so there is no required functions i guess yeah no no required um no required functions so basically if you have a delegate sometimes it will ask you for like to put in a function which is required um that is because it's required by the protocol um so first we sh we can we should go to info.plist and this info.plist is all the information um that comes in like well which is for the app like the see this bundle identifier the uh, the like the supported orientations for the iPhone so if you want to tilt it landscape or something uh, <laughs> and so we need what is called wait uh it is we should probably see here but location location anything Oh, yeah, privacy. Here we go. So it's in privacy, basically. Privacy. And there should be one for location when in use description. There we go. And basically, it's like when in the pop up, you see like, um, like a little description of of why it needs the why the app needs the location uh we so we can 
I'll just type in we need location we need location or else and so you can put in something real something formal well it has to be formal if you're going to publish on the app store that is or else apple will just reject it so so we should put in locate and there should be some a lot of a uh, load of um location manager functions um which have been um put sent in by the delegates manager okay and it should and there should be one for did uh, change authorization status so basically if it changed if it if it was allowed or something but what we need to do is switch the status so we're going to see which which cases of the status so space state dot um let's see so our first case should be denied or not restricted so basically those two mean so this means that the user does not allow it this one means parental controls lock um and that i'll just print some random stuff well if if you're planning to do an actual app, then you will have to handle something like that, like have a warning or something. Uh, so, oh, right. and basically that's all we need to check. Oh yeah, also we need to, do, actually first we need to do not, we should also do not determine, meaning um, it's so, like the user just just downloaded it from the app store and opened it for the first time and that means we do manager dot um, request request when in use authorization so basically that will make the pop-up happen and also we need a default and in this case that means everything has gone well no restrictions no denizations no no not de determined us. so that means it's all ready to go and that means we can start getting the location so manager dot dot start updating location now well that's good and that's all we need uh so yeah and this manager is basically refer referring to the location manager but it's put in a parameter so i thought why not use it i don't want to use i don't want to waste parameters even though they're only in a computer Wow, that all makes me feel very emotional. Um, okay, so that's that's the that's all we need. So that's all we need to get the blue dot. It's not all we need to finish this whole app. Ugh, like, look, seriously, like it's all done. Oh. But first, we need to set the location manager dot desired accuracy, and that should. And I'm gonna do um, kc kc location accuracy best. So that means oh, it's kc l l. A KCL location accuracy best. 
So that's the best, that's the best accuracy we can get. Um, we can, you can do it within 10 meters, one kilometer, 10 kilometers, depending on your accuracy. I mean, depending on how accurate your app does, wants to be. I'm just going to do the best accuracy. Okay, so now we can run this. Oh, here we go. So, allow navigator to access your location while you use the app. We need location or else. Well, if we do this, if we press don't allow, that means it won't allow it. And basically when it gets a location, it'll crash because there's nothing to handle it. Um, so, we'll just press allow. And if you want, you can press don't allow. But... But if we go to the other side of the world, there we go, our blue dot, yay, 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 why am I so excited? And you can also zoom, it's just um, because, just because of the, oh, yay, it's zooming in. It's really hard to nail it, like get it in, like just, it's, Take some practice to zoom in because like it's quite like the yeah it's like this it's a bit like in an iPhone you you will easily you can easily pinch like this but since it's like since it's like like pinpointed from here but then it won't work um yeah here it is. But you see how I had to struggle for going around the world and trying to find where I am. It'd be easier if if it just if the map view would just start from where you are. So it would go to where you are. So the way can we can do this it we can do this is Matthew dot region and that is basically the area displayed by the map view dot center equals to well actually display there we're going to we should actually do that by doing map view and did update user location so basically it just updates when the user location like yeah it just keeps updating the user user location constantly but we only want to like move it to the to the user in like only once so then that means the person can move freely around and look around every everywhere um so we shall create a variable for um move to user location there we go and we should set that to false and so if oh, so if location like if but user 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 location move to user location that is here um so that means if it hasn't moved to the user location so this basically inverts so false is true true is false that's what this exclamation mark means but when so basically when when this is false when move to user location is false then we set that set this to true so that means that it will only this will this part will only be called once because once this is being called this becomes true and this will never be true again this statement so so we shall set the map view 
mapview.center well dot region dot center to the map view dot user location very good so oh right oh dot coordinate very good so basically that will get the coordinate and this is and this is, if you're wondering, a CL location coordinate 2D. 2D. And, um, like, I was wondering, well, what I used to wonder, is there a 3D? No, it's only 2D. So, here we go. It just went to San Francisco. There we go. Bingo. Oh, yes. And, by the way, I actually set this... You can also actually set this device, um, this so you can go to device debug on the simulator, and it and go to location, and you can set custom location, city, bicycle, what ride, or anywhere else. But I set this to Apple, and this means Apple headquarters. So basically, one infinite loop, California, blah, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, so that's the, so that moves, that moves it to the user location. And so we should get on with navigating. That's it for part two. In the next part, we're going to do the navigation. And so, for now, 